going on guys, Sephonix here, and it looks like we got some new information on Sailor Moon now. Apparently last night this picture was actually released and it was um went ahead and was translated for our viewing pleasure. Um basically telling us that the new Sailor Moon was now going to be called Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal. Now, um for those who may remember, the original Sailor Moon was called Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Pretty Guardian is actually the um Pretty Guardian is actually the original um, title for the Sailor Moon that was um, the live action Sailor Moon that was only released in Japan. It was actually pretty good. I'm actually going to get back into that in one minute here. But we also found that that's going to be released on July 2014 as well as um, going to be streaming on Nico Nico Dogma. Now, um, Nico Nico, for those who don't know, is basically um, the Japanese version of YouTube. So, yeah. Um, let's see, um, uh, close enough, Japanese version, but anyway, so here's the picture here, now, I'm not, it's not really certain if this is just a promotional picture, will this be, uh, the way that Sailor Moon will look, I mean, obviously it will be, but the things what I'm saying is that, will she have this much detail in her hair, probably not, but I'm just saying, uh, from here though, we can see a couple of things, here is the actual, um, I don't know the Japanese version of it, but, um, in the um, US, it's called the Imperium Silver Crystal, um, and then what we also have here is a Sailor Moon that's a real throwback to the original one. At the same time, she does have a couple of new things. For example, um, the costume that she has, the main part of the costume, is 100% um, uh, pretty much a throwback back to the original version. That being said, her choker and her brooch are both uh, a little bit different than what it used to be in the original one. I also noticed that the earrings um, look like they might be a little different as well. I'm not 100% sure with the earrings, but I do know that the original Sailor Moon costume did not have these um, hair bracelets, um, hair bracelets, hair buckles, whatever they're called, in her hair. These were actually shown later in the Super Sailor Moon um, saga. I believe it was a Super Sailor Moon saga. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but pretty sure it was. So there's that. But anyway, um, so this is actually a pretty, you know, detailed picture here, which also leads me to believe that it might not, in fact, be, um, you know, um, for the anime. But I gotta say, the detail in the picture and a couple of other things really make it look really good. Um, my question though is that what will it have in there? Now, a lot of people don't really know what it's going to entail. Will this be a relaunching? Will this be a reboot? Will this just be like Dragon Ball Z Kai? Um, and another thing is that will. In the um, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, we actually got a couple of characters that were kind of new and kind of rebooted in the Pretty so uh, yeah, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, the live-action version. One would be this one, one of my favorite characters, literally of all time, Sailor Mercury. Um, this is actually Dark Mercury, actually. Um, Dark Mercury, sorry about that, was actually played by uh, Rika um, Azume, who was going by the name, uh, I think it was Hama uh, Chizaki at the time. Um... Chisaki, yeah, at the time. So, um, she did, this is one of the, like, seriously, this is like her, I think not her first, 100% first, uh, acting job, but this was her first real acting job, and I gotta say, she knocked it out the park. She was the one character who actually had to go ahead and play multiple roles in order to go ahead and really, um, kind of bring out a character. For example, she started off as one of those characters who was extremely, um, you know, calm and extremely shy, um, where she also had to play a character at the same time who was shy, trying to be more than just shy, you know, and at the same time, she had to play Dark Mercury, um, who was literally brainwashed in order to go ahead and fight against the Sailor, uh, the Sailor Soldiers, or Sailor Senshi, it doesn't matter. Um, either way, um, it's, it was a great show, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the new Sailor Moon is going to bring to the table. So definitely go ahead and check out Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal, which will be available, looks like, in July 2014. Um, once we get a secure date, I will definitely go ahead and let you guys know. Until then, you guys have a good night. Zeph is out.